Hi friends, we're going to take a look at artist Paul Cezanne. He was a French artist who was very famous for lots of things. But one of the things we're going to take a look at is his still lifes. Still lifes means he took a bunch of objects, put them on a table, and painted them, and they didn't move. If you take a look, you could see all of his still lifes have something in common. Hmm, what are they? What do you notice? Paul Cezanne lived from 1839 to 1906. His still lifes are very famous even today. They are colorful. He was a master of mixing colors, but he was also a master at making sure his still lifes looked kind of flat and had lots of brush strokes. Take a look at the colors. Look at how he blended them. Look at the how he made them look so realistic, one in front of the other. But they also always had the idea that they looked like they were on a table. There was a wall behind them. We're going to be doing things like that in our still life painting, like Paul Cezanne. Here's another one. Look at the different colors of the apples. Because we know apples don't all come in the same colors. Here's the wall. Here's the table with the wall behind it. This one happens to have wallpaper on it. You can do that in your own picture. Here's some more apples. And look at this apple. It's up front. So it's a little bit bigger. That's called perspective. Here's another one. This one's a little bit different because it looks like it's been flattened out a bit. The table isn't as in perspective as it should be. It's a little bit more flattened out. But again, look at how much detail he put into each piece of fruit. Look at this has a highlight because it's a little bit shiny. Look at how much detail he put into each piece of fruit. Do you think you can paint like Paul Cezanne? We're going to take a look and see. I have some videos to show you.